Hi guys, my name is Emily and today I'll be reviewing Arrow's Flight by Mercedes Lackey. This is the second book in a trilogy following Talia who is a herald, which is basically a peacekeeper and she has a telepathic bond with her companion who are essentially magical horses. I reviewed the first book back in December or January of 2014 and I think my review at the time was that it had a lot of potential, I really wanted to like it, it reminded me of Tamora Pierce and so I was going to persevere and read the second book. So I've read the second book now and one of my complaints about the first book was that there really wasn't a plot. This again does not really have a plot. So slightly spoilery, Talia and her mentor Chris end up snowed in in a cabin, they have a lot of sex, and they work on developing Talia's mental gift of empathy. There wasn't a whole lot of character development or world development because they were stuck in a cabin. Like, I guess Talia is kind of developing some self-confidence, but I mean, she really only has confidence with the person that she knows really well. Also, this book has the potential to do something really empowering, but then fails to do so. So, heralds have this magical bond with their companion, and this magical bond kind of replaces bonds with other humans. So heralds have a lot of casual sex, but they don't have life bonds, as they call it. And life bonding is a very rare occurrence that happens when two people meet, and it's a love at first sight kind of thing. Of course, Talia has met the eyes of this guy one time, and they are life bonded. But like, this whole book is her having casual sex with her mentor Chris, and there are a lot of discussions about how desire is okay and natural and just a thing that people have, and satisfying that desire is not wrong, and it's okay for women to have desire and men to have desire, and desire, you can desire opposite sexes and you can desire the same sex, it's all good. But then she ends up in a heterosexual life bond, which completely destroys any of the subversive potential of the herald companion bond that prevents life bonding. And like, just the whole insta-love thing is so gross and like, really? Insta-love? Life bonds? Come on. I, I am really disappointed with this and I'm not even sure if it's worth it to read the last book. This book was riddled with grammar, punctuation, and spelling errors. I don't know who edited this, if it was edited. I've been thinking about why I struggle with this. None of the characters are physically described, so like, I find it really hard to distinguish any of the characters or to care about them or to picture them doing these things because I don't picture them at all. They're like, I know Talia has curly red hair and she's petite. And like, that's vaguely depicted in the cheesy fantasy cover. A lot of the other characters have very little descriptors. It makes it hard to associate a name and characteristics and actions with this kind of void. Lackey is such a big name in fantasy. She has this huge world and you hear about people loving Lackey. Like, I'm just not fangirling for this early writing. So I don't know if maybe I started in the wrong place. If you have read Mercedes Lackey and love her work, and it's not this series. Like, if there's another point in her body of works that are more compelling, just where she's grown as a writer and is more experienced as a writer, let me know. Let me know what you think of Mercedes Lackey. Let me know if her writing improves. Let me know if you like this book, because I didn't. It, it was really disappointing. Those are my thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.